The Shabbat is a sign between me and the children of Yisrael forever. For in six days Yahweh made skies and earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. And he gave to Moshe, when he had made an end of communing with him upon Mount Sinai, the two tablets of the testimony, tablets of stone, written with the finger of God. Shemoth, Exodus, chapter 32. And when the people saw that Moshe delayed to come down from the mount, the people gathered themselves together to Aharon and said to him, Up, make us gods, which shall go before us. For as for this Moshe, the man that brought us up out of the land of Mithraim, we know not what is become of him. And Aharon said to them, Break off the golden rings which are in the ears of your women, of your sons, and of your daughters, and bring them to me. And all the people broke off the golden rings which were in their ears, and brought them to Aharon, and he received it at their hand and fashioned it with an engraving tool, and made it a cast metal calf. And they said, These are thy gods, O Yisrael, which brought thee up out of the land of Mithraim. And when Aharon saw this, he built an altar before it, and Aharon made proclamation and said, Tomorrow shall be a festival to Yahweh. And they rose up early on the morrow, and offered ascending offerings, and brought peace offerings. And the people sat down to eat, and to drink, and rose up to play. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, Go, get thee down, for thy people that thou broughtest up out of the land of Mithraim have corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made them a cast metal calf, and have worshipped it, and have sacrificed to it, and said, These are thy gods, O Yisrael, which brought thee up out of the land of Mithraim. And Yahweh said to Moshe, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Now therefore let me alone, that my wrath may become hot against them, and that I may consume them, and I will make of thee a great nation. And Moshe besought Yahweh his God, and said, Yahweh, why doth thy wrath become hot against thy people, that thou hast brought forth out of the land of Mithraim with great power and with a mighty hand? For what reason should the Mithraim speak, saying, For evil did he bring them forth, to slay them in the mountains, and to consume them from the face of the earth? Turn from thy fierce wrath, and repent of this evil against thy people. Remember Abraham, Yishahak, and Yisrael thy servants, to whom thou swearest an oath by thy own self, and saidst to them, I will multiply your seed as the stars of the skies, and all this land that I have spoken of will I give to your seed, and they shall inherit it for ever. And Yahweh repented of the evil which he said he would do to his people. And Moshe turned and went down from the mount with the two tablets of the testimony in his hand, tablets that were written on both their sides. On the one side and on the other were they written. 
and the tablets were the work of God, and the writing was the writing of God, engraved upon the tablets. And when Yehoshua heard the noise of the people as they shouted, he said to Moshe, There is a noise of war in the camp. And he said, It is not the voice of them that shout for mastery, neither is it the voice of them that cry for being overcome, but the noise of them that sing do I hear. And it was as soon as he came near to the camp that he saw the calf and the dancing, and Moshe's anger became hot, and he cast the tablets out of his hands and broke them beneath the mount. And he took the calf which they had made and burnt it with fire and ground it to powder and strewed it upon the water and made the children of Yisrael drink of it. And Moshe said to Aharon, What did this people to thee, that thou hast brought a great sin upon them? And Aharon said, Let not the anger of my lord become hot. Thou knowest the people, that they are set on evil. For they said to me, Make us gods, which shall go before us. For as for this Moshe, the man that brought us up out of the land of Methraim, we know not what is become of him. And I said to them, Whosoever hath any gold, let them break it off. So they gave it me, and I cast it into the fire, and there came out this calf. And when Moshe saw that the people were broken loose, for Aharon had let them loose for a derision among their enemies. Then Moshe stood in the gate of the camp and said, Whoso is on Yahweh's side, let him come to me. And all the sons of Lewi gathered themselves together to him. And he said to them, Thus saith Yahweh, the God of Yisrael, Put ye every man his sword upon his thigh, and go to and fro from gate to gate throughout the camp, and slay every man his brother, and every man his companion, and every man his neighbor. And the sons of Lewi did according to the word of Moshe, and there fell of the people that day about three thousand men. And Moshe said, Consecrate yourselves today to Yahweh, as each man against his son and against his brother, and to give upon you a blessing today. And it was on the morrow that Moshe said to the people, Ye have sinned a great sin, and now I will go up to Yahweh. Perhaps I shall make atonement for your sin. And Moshe returned to Yahweh and said, Oh, this people have sinned a great sin, and have made them gods of gold. Yet now if thou wilt forgive their sin... But if not, blot me, I pray thee, out of thy book which thou hast written. And Yahweh said to Moshe, Whosoever hath sinned against me, him will I blot out of my book. And now go, lead the people to the place of which I have spoken to thee. Behold, my messenger shall go before thee, Nevertheless, in the day when I visit, I will visit their sin upon them. And Yahweh smote the people, because they made the calf which Ahron made. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, Depart, go up hence, thou and the people that thou hast brought up out of the land of Mithraim, to the land of which I swore an oath to Abraham, to Yishak, and to Jacob, saying, To thy seed will I give it. 
and I will send the messenger before thee, and I will drive out the Canaani, the Amori, and the Cheti, and the Perezi, and the Hewi, and the Yavusi, to a land flowing with milk and honey, for I will not go up in the midst of thee, for thou art a stiff-necked people, lest I consume thee in the way. And when the people heard these evil tidings, they mourned, and no man did put on him his ornaments.